Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Nicole and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 18 months old. So currently I do wear a T-Slim insulin pump. Before I went to this insulin pump, I did come from a Medtronic insulin pump. And when I first got the insulin pump, I was in fourth grade. I remember in fourth grade getting in front of my class, explaining to the students that this isn't a cell phone, this is something that you can't take out of my pocket because it's something that's attached to me and something that gives me insulin. The first insulin pump I used was an Animas insulin pump. Then, after Animas, I went to Medtronic, and Medtronic was something I believe I was using over a decade. I started the Tandem T-Slim Insulin Pump about two years ago. So to start off, just look at the size difference and how crazy that is. Definitely the T-Slim by far lives up to its name because it is so much slimmer. Look at that size difference, it's crazy. I am also someone who likes change and I feel like since I had the Medtronic pump for so long that I did want to try something new and try out some of the new technology out there. Some things that took me a while to get used to were changing the cartridge. Changing this cartridge is quite different than the Tandem T-Slim as the cartridge would go right here. So with the Tandem, you, the cartridge is actually right over here and then this would slide off. Check out this video up on top to see how it would change the cartridge. Another thing I had to get used to was the battery life. Um, so with the Tandem, it does not have batteries, it's something you charge. So as you can see right over here, this is where you would input the charger. Where the insulin pump, I would just use rechargeable batteries. And then you would just take a little quarter or a coin, twist this off, and you place a battery over here. That was definitely something I had to get used to. So with the Tandem, I really try charging it when I'm taking a shower. This way it takes about maybe 20 to 25 minutes to charge, which really isn't a long time, but it's just really adjusting to that lifestyle and making time for it. I also feel like the T-Slim, just the way it looks, looks very modern. But yeah, just look at this this um, screen, I feel like it's very 21st century by far. And then it also reads with my Dexcom G6 and that also played such a major role when deciding which insulin pump I wanted to start. I had to get used to was the touch screen. I never had a insulin pump with a touch screen before. So I remember one day I was trying to touch the screen and nothing was working where I couldn't click. So over here it says one, two, three. So you would just click one, two, three to start it. And I remember nothing was clicking and I wasn't able to give myself insulin. So I called Tandem and you just wanna make sure the screen is clean. Whereas I came from an insulin pump with all buttons and a gray screen where there was absolutely no color to it whatsoever. Just looking back at history, I found this picture when I searched insulin pump, the first ever insulin pump, and look at that. That is crazy. I can't even imagine nowadays wearing an insulin pump on my back. <laughs> so it definitely makes me feel very grateful because there are times, you know, I hate when my wires stick out or I have to figure out where I'm going to place my insulin pump in my outfit. And then I look at a picture like this and it makes me very grateful that I do not have to wear it as a backpack and I can actually easily hide it if needed. And this is a screen right over here and as you can see, this is the graph and then this is where my blood sugar is. So let's say hypothetically I'm going to do a bolus. My number pops up right here. For the longest time, I think maybe it was just laziness, I hated inputting my blood sugar into my insulin pump and would kind of guess my carbs and insulin, where with this just streamlines the process and makes it that much better. What I really like about the transition from going from Medtronic to Tandem was that when I was inserting my cannula, aka my site, um, a lot of times I just call it my site, the same thing with Dexcom too, I don't know why, it's just something that stuck to me, I don't know if anyone else calls it that, but inserting my cannula, it was the same exact way. So as you can see in this video, I'm inserting my site for my tandem. However, it's also the same exact way for if you were inserting a Medtronic one. So therefore, there was really not much of a transition there, which I really appreciated. 
Disclaimer, there are so many different medical devices out there when it comes to managing diabetes, such as injections, Omnipod, all these different insulin pumps, and by far, I think it really depends on each individual and their lifestyle, and for today, I'm just talking about for me and what works best for me, as everyone is different. I am very happy with Medtronic 2. I have absolutely no complaints with it. Again, I used it for over a decade. I just decided at this time, I did want to try some of the new technology. So again, these are just some of my thoughts with the Tandem Insulin Pump and my transition from going from Medtronic to Tandem. Please comment below what medical device that you use as I'm so curious to hear about it and also your thoughts. If you ever had to transition maybe from Omnipod to an insulin pump, from injections to an insulin pump or vice versa, as I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions.